So you've downloaded the Horselink app and you've created a profile as a service provider and now you want to send an invoice. There are two ways you can send an invoice to a horse that's already on the app and, um, ha and the owner has added you, owner or trainer has added you as a trusted service provider or um, someone who is not on the app yet. So we're going to show you how to um, invoice for horses that are already on the app by going to your horses tab. Anyone who has added you in their uh, horse manager profile as a trusted service provider um, will show up here in your horses list. And within underneath each person, you will see uh, the horses listed. Now you can also uh, search for those horses. So let's say we were looking for Jack and they would just show up. As you get a lot listed there, this is very convenient. So let's say we reset Jack today. Stacy Snyder is a, a test farrier. Um, so we're going to tap on Jack's profile. You'll see at the bottom of the page there's a Create Invoice button. So we're going to tap on Create Invoice. And then you'll see Jack's information is automatically populated. You can change the date of the invoice if you need to. Um, but it automatically populates at the current date. And then you're going to select a service from your, uh, the services and rates in your profile. So let's say you reset Jack today. If you needed to add another service, say you did pads for him, you could add those as well, but we're just going to reset him. There's also the ability to add a custom service. So let's say you had some extra travel costs related to getting to Jack today. Um, so 25 extra dollars in fuel or whatever. Um, you can add that in there and it will, it will be added on. Um, you can add as many services and as many custom services as you need to. Um, this, the show information down here is optional as well as the note to horse managers. We'll just type in thank you. And then click next. Now, if Jack was the only horse that you worked on for Barb today, you could um, confirm this information and then tap on confirm and submit invoice and it would submit the invoice directly to her. But if you do work on more than one horse for that person that day, or if you want to accumulate over a week or a month of activity, you would save it to drafts. So we're going to tap save to drafts. And that has been sent over to the drafts. And it will accumulate all of the horses for the single payer um, that, that is out there. Um, so from there, we're going to go to the payments tab and see our draft invoice that we just submitted for Jack, which is right here. You can see the reset and the travel. From here, you can edit the invoice at any time that you need to, even after you've submitted it. Or if you want to delete that draft, you, the delete invoice is down there at the bottom. So, but Jack wasn't the only horse that we worked on, so we're going to go back to our horses tab, and you see under Barb, we're going to say, we also reset spot that day. So we're going to go to back to create invoice, select service, uh, reset, done, and then we already charged for travel um, on Jack, so we're not going to charge again. You can add a note if you'd like to, or you can just hit next, and you save this to drafts. Now that's also been saved to drafts, so you go to your payments tab, and you can see Spot and Jack are both on here. Jack has the travel fee, and Spot does not. If this is everything that you wanted to have in this invoice, you would just tap on Submit Invoice, and that automatically sends an invoice to Barb for those two services. Now it's been moved out of drafts over into your Submitted Invoice tab here. It might take a second to refresh, but it, it goes through about that fast, right there. So $475 coming your way. When you do submit those, it sends a, a notification, an app notification to their phone, and it also emails them a pretty invoice uh, that they can print for their records if they would like to. Um, the invoices show up in their payments tab, very similar to the cards that you see here. Now let's say you did also some work um, for a horse that day uh, that is not on the app. It's not here on your horses tab. I call the horse Coco. You type in Coco. Nope, I don't have a Coco. So you would go back to the, oops, back to the payments tab in the, so in your drafts tab, in the payments tab, you, there's another create invoice button here. Now by tapping on that create invoice, there's the, a row at the top called search or add horse. And so if you would like, you, you 
do want HorseLink to access your contacts. That will show you any contacts in your phone that have horse profiles created for them that you can search through and invoice through there. Um, you can also search for linked horses. So let's say, you know, Jack or Spot, we could have searched for from here as well to create the invoice. Or we know Coco's not in there, so we're going to add a new horse. The only information that's required is Coco's name. So we type in Coco. You can fill in the rest of that information if you'd like, but um, the only thing that's required is their bar name. And you go to Next. And it's going to take you to another invoice looking screen where you can select the service. Let's say we trimmed Coco, done. Again, same as the other invoice, you can select services, you can change the quantities, and you can add custom services. Now what this invoice does is it gives you the set invoice method option here. We can either text or email this to, uh, the, to our client. Um, so a, a text is usually the easiest. It'll let you search for contacts in your phone number, in your, in your phone, I'm going to send this to a friend of mine named Kelly, Kelly Hamlet. Um, and you can see here that the rest of this information is optional. And again, it gives you the option to um, add a note uh, to the horse manager. Now, when I send this text message, it'll, well, when we go to next, it'll again send you to this uh, screen where you can confirm and submit invoice or save it to drafts. And again, saving it to drafts will lump them all together, being sent to the same person. Um, confirm it. Once we tap on confirm and submit invoice though, what it will do is it will send them a text with a smart link included. So it'll say I'm logged in here is Stacy Snyder. It'll say Stacy Snyder has sent you an invoice for X dollars. Uh, please go to horse link at this link to pay the invoice. Um, and so once we will hit confirm and submit invoice. Now the link in there is a smart link. If they have not downloaded the app yet, it will take them to the Apple Store or Google Play to download the app when once they create their profile in there, it will automatically take them to your invoice. Um, if they have already downloaded the app, they just didn't have a profile for Coco. When they go to the app it, and log in, it will take them to the, um, the horses screen where they've, it will create a, a, pro, a start of a profile for Coco with his name and take them then directly to your invoice for Coco to be able to pay. So those are the two ways that, uh, that you can create a, uh, an invoice. Again, here you can see in the submitted tab, there's Coco, Coco's uh, invoice that we sent out. As the horse managers pay, the, pay their invoices, they automatically get moved over to the paid tab. So you always have in your submitted uh, tab here, you can always see who still owes you money. From within these invoices, you can always edit them you can also mark them as paid if they happen to, if you submit an invoice to them and then they hand you a wad of cash or write you a check or something on the spot. Um, you can mark it as paid and it moves it to your paid folder uh, with or paid tab without um, processing any payments through the app. You can also use the send payment reminder button on this screen to um, send them a notification and a text uh, that uh, there's an invoice out there that needs to be paid for you. And that are, is the two ways that you can send invoices and get paid uh, and save yourself time and money through HorseLink.